I read a piece the other day in the Daily Telegraph by Fraser Nelson saying that Boris is going to disappoint those people who want lower tax. He's going to be a big spending kind of prime minister. Um, he's not going to be particularly fiscally restrained. Um, and somebody wrote to the paper saying that this is a completely false analysis of, of the view that blue-collar conservatives want. They are not necessarily against lower taxes, and they don't want people to be given something from nothing. So how do you reconcile that? Boris's kind of one-nation idea that just splurge the country with lots of money and that'll win over the working poor. Well, you can't out Corbyn, Jeremy Corbyn, and the Conservatives should never try and outspend the Labour Party. And I'm always very wary of this. You see, democracy relies on solvency. Um, Winston Churchill remarked, I think it was once, that if democracy ends up being down to pork barrel politics, i.e., you know, generally the most depressing thing on the doorstep is, is when I see someone, and it doesn't happen very often, but when I give them the leaflet and give them the, the offering and they say, well, I, I'm going to decide to see what the other side are offering me. Well, if we were all to vote on to the party who gave us the most things, most money, spending, well, then the country will go bankrupt because we can't, we can't outspend or outpromise uh, the Marxists in the Labour Party. They're just going to use the doubling cube. You know, whatever we offer to spend on the NHS, they'll say they'll spend more. Whatever we say on anything, they can say they'll spend more. Well, there lies the road to, uh, to bankruptcy. And if you want a demonstration of what this means, have a look at Greece, where, because they're bankrupt, um, the, uh, the electorate in Greece voted twice to end austerity. But because they're now owned by the IMF and their creditors, when the IMF say you've got to... Um, You've got to uh, cut all your pensions by 20%, cut your health spending by 25%, and your public sector workers pay by 25%. It doesn't matter how many times the Greek people vote to end austerity, that's what they have to do. And that is the huge danger. Democracy ends. There is no democracy in Greece because they're owned by their creditors. And I'll never want to see this country go that way. And the dangerous path is if we just try and out outspend and outpromise a irresponsible hard left Marxist Labour government whose declared ambition is to destroy the capitalist system. The capitalist system which creates the wealth, the jobs and pays the taxes that supports all our public sector services. <laughs>